everyone and thank you for joining me on a shell finding adventure. The first shell today looks like, whoo, yep, just an erasure shell. That's a nice one to start us off with. Well, what do we have in, this, in the shell piles? I see a snake head, kind of worn away, but still a bit nice. And where was it? I just, there it is, I just spotted it. A blue cowrie, very nice. And what's this one? It's a, it's a brown cowrie, or at least what I call a brown cowrie. And I know you saw that one too, a limpet. This one's just called a common limpet because I guess they're so common here. So for these cowries, I've just been calling them grey cowries, but their actual name is a graceful cowrie, so I'll try to call them graceful cowries from now on. Uh, Paparadusta gracilis, I think is their Latin name. Kind of nice, but very, very common here. Oh, well, right after the graceful cowrie, <laughs> look what I just spotted. <laughs> There we go, a little calcified on top, but my goodness, I don't find a donkey cowrie every day. I'm certainly quite happy about that one. Awesome. Ooh, that's just a piece, right? That's gotta be. Yep, that's just a piece. A piece of a captain cone. I've only ever found one very, very small captain cone. I'm still waiting to find my big one. Gosh, that is a nice piece, so I'll probably hang on to it for good luck. Oh my goodness, what is waiting for me right here? Ooh, alrighty, it's an old strombus. Very, very nice. I like the shape on it. It just seems like thicker around this um like top section here with a smaller lip. That's pretty cool. Ooh, what are you? You got like a yellow teeth on the bottom. Oh, you're a Humphreys cowrie. Are you kidding? Well, look at that. It's an old Humphreys cowrie. Still plenty of color on it, though it hasn't faded too much. Oh, lucky me, that's a nice one. Well, I just picked this thing up off camera because I thought it was glass. And I always pick up a bunch of glass off camera just to get the, uh, the sharp bits out of the water for people who come by, but my goodness, what is this? Is it a shell? It feels hard like a shell, but I've never seen one like it before. Um, if you know what this is, or if it's just rubbish, let me know in the comments. I just have no idea, but gosh, got a nice enough color when you look through it. I mean, I think it looks like plastic, but the shape is like, I got no idea. Wow. Ooh, right there. Yep, it's a clandestine cowrie. <laughs> I'm finding lots of the little nice cowries today, aren't I? Oh my goodness. We had a lot of rough... Uh, rough rain yesterday, so I must have washed like extra stuff to shore. That's pretty cool. Ooh, that blue carry looks nice on the bottom. How are you on the top? Ooh, it does look nice on the top. Oh yeah, I like that blue cowrie. Also called a yellow tooth cowrie, the Sapria Xanthodon. Well, I originally saw this cowrie. Oh yeah, it's quite a nice brown cowrie. But uh, right next to it, there is a crown cone oh let's pick it up there we go it's empty oh gosh that's a nice crown cone to start off the crown cone collection today oh boy there we go there's a little bean trivia in here oh just a little dude he's a nice one too oh my goodness well what originally caught my eye in this hole is uh is the crab in that uh striated NASA shell, I'm not really sure, but then down here, ooh, I see a zebra volley with a red tip. Let's take a look. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, what pain. You know, that's still kind of cool, so I'm going to keep it for now. Wow, is that one whole? Oh, it is whole. Oh, look at that. That's a very nice uh, thousand spot cone. Conus miliaris. Gosh, that's a good size. Oh my goodness, I thought that was like a volute or something for a second because it's so big. It's just a very nice big bonnet. Look at that one. Oh yeah, I mean, I know I had bonnet day like a few days ago, but this is still a nice one. <laughs> How has nobody spotted that yet? The walking path is literally right here. Oh God, bonnets. Oh, it is whole. 
Ooh, let's take a look at it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is actually a very nice little checkered bonnet. Gosh, I just love when they've got that like darker color on top. Yep, that's definitely a keeper. Oh my God, right after that bonnet, I can't believe. Ooh, ooh is it whole? <gasps> oh, ho, 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 ho. what? What? Look at the size of this one. Oh my God. Oh, it's definitely empty. I'm being very careful with this one because my goodness, it's a captain cone and it's huge. The only other captain cone I got was like literally this big, like a tiny baby from the rack line. I'm pretty sure one of these this size can definitely 100% kill you if it's alive. That would be a nasty sting from something this big. Oh my God. That is so cool. A little bit old, but 100% intact. And my, well, my second technically captain cone. What? That is so big. Definitely the find of the day. Oh, well, look at that pretty moon snail. Oh, I'm sorry, a flat sand snail. Also called an incise or incis moon snail. That just looks really nice. It's got like a swirl of like very pale purple going around it. I'm not sure, but that is lovely. So I literally only just remembered that I picked up this little broken bit of Captain Cone earlier for good luck. And then I found this one. So yes, thank you universe. Sometimes picking up a broken shell can give you amazing luck. Oh wow, look at that eraser. It's got like a, a big red spot on the side of it. Ooh boy, look at that one. It's an old one I think because it's got little spider web cracks through it. But gosh, I like that pattern on top of it. That's a very pretty shell. Oh, look at that one. I do like those. I don't see a crab in it. Is it whole? It's, oh, it is whole. Look at that one. Yeah, it's just sand in there, I think. Yeah, definitely just sand. Oh, that's a cool one. It's a type of droop shell. I always forget its name, but hey, that'll clean up nicely. Oh my goodness, just sitting there waiting for me. Look at the size of that one. Woo! It's a, it's a Pacific deer cowrie. Also a milk spot cowrie, spotted deer cowrie. Honestly, they have a lot of names. Cool, that's actually, I mean, it's pretty old, but the color on it still looks nice and brown. Oh, I saw that cone there. It looks a little too old, but right next to it. Hello. Oh, look at that one. That's a very big Serith cone. A little bit broken, but the color looks pretty dang nice. Awesome. Well, that's gonna be one of the biggest unoccupied rock snail shells I've ever seen. Unoccupied because it's obviously only sand in there. Gosh, that's a hefty one. He's like, he's like two or 300 grams or something. Wow. I probably won't carry it along with me just because of the sheer weight of it, but my goodness, what a cool shell. Holy butts, what kind of cone shell is that down there? Is it, um, is it a frigid cone shell? Let's take a look. It's not sticking, it's not occupied. Woo, woo, look at that one. Definitely needs a clean up. Possibly a sanguine cone, I think, maybe. I'm not sure, that's still pretty cool though. Oh yes, there's just a pretty little dove shell down there. Yeah, I like these ones, that looks like a nice one. And, and there we go, a little telescoped dove shell. Woo, they look very nice. Wow, I think I maybe see another sanguine cone right there. It's just in a spot where I have to stretch. Uh, bend, stretch, Maddie. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, is it? No, it's, no, it's not stuck. There we go. Woo! Look at that one. It's empty as well. Probably a lot nicer than the first one. I'm trying to move the uh, camera away from the wind. It's, it's whipping up a bit right now. Yeah, that's a really good one. I think it's another lovely sanguine cone. Sweet baby Jesus. I almost missed it. Wow, yes, empty. Oh no, it's broken. What a shame, that's a massive Gaia Triton. 
And I must apologize, I was spelling Gaia Triton as in G-A-I-A, -A, like the Norse goddess or whatever. They're actually spelled G-Y-R-E, so there we go, a lovely broken Gaia Triton. It would, it would make a nice necklace though, put a bit of cord through there. You wouldn't even notice that it was a bit dodgy. <gasps> wow, it looks whole. It, it is whole, oh my goodness. I am extremely excited because this is the first time I've ever found one of these all whole. It's probably the smallest one too, oh my goodness. Little Scotch bonnet is what I call them. They probably have a proper name and I guess I should probably find it out now. Oh, look at that, it's got nice little like, like swirly textures all on it. What a cute little bonnet, oh my god. Oh my goodness, is it the second coming of bonnet day? It's, oh it is whole. Oh my goodness, that is a very, very pretty bonnet. Wow, I'm finding a lot of really nice condition whole bonnets today. And I am not unhappy about that because wow, very, very nice condition bonnets. Oh my goodness, cowrie teeth, what are you? What, oh it's whole, Ooh, look at that one. Oh my goodness, it is another spotted deer cowrie, but my gosh, look at this one is absolutely beautiful. It looks so unusual, I think it's like, it's in the adult stage, but it's still got the color wrapping around to there. I just think that looks super duper pretty, very light colored on top. Wow! Oh, a second bean trivia for the day, sitting in that muscle. Nice, it's another big one. Ooh, that limpet looks nice, all wet and everything. Oh, he's quite a tall one too, look at that. I definitely like these prickly ones, they just have like a really, really cool aesthetic about them. It's windy. Ooh, lucky Maddie! <laughs> Little juvenile cowrie. Um, not 100% sure if that's an Arabian or not, but yeah, that is very nice and delicate. Cool. My, 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 that is the biggest bean so far today. Bean trivia number three. Oh, what's that little pop of color in there? This one. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I do like that one. Oh my goodness. Yes, there is a hole in it, but gosh, it's a really nice frog shell. Wow, I, I've only ever found a few of these and they weren't in, in any kind of good condition, so this one's actually pretty nice in my eyes. Wow, I definitely like that one. Well, that's a coral in this hole. It's also quite a nice looking triton of some kind, I guess. Don't mind that one. Oh, I just looked over and saw that one. My goodness, there's a bonnet next to it as well. Oh, Triton, are you empty? Oh, you are empty. Nice, that's a very good looking shouldered Triton. And let's take a look at the bonnet. I don't need any more bonnets. Ooh, it's not a bad looking bonnet either. Oh, wow, it's unusual. Maybe a bit of a freak. I'll leave it for the next person though. I like the Triton. My god, finally? Question mark. Oh, let me grab it. Ooh, oh, and next to it. Oh my god. Ooh, double treble. Oh, don't drop it. Wow, look at that wandering cowrie. It's nice and blue. It looks lovely. It's a really long one as well. And what I picked up right before it. Oh, it's a little bit of a, of a chipped one. A fairly nice zebra volute with the tip. But between the two of them, I definitely like the cowrie more. Oh my goodness. So here are the shell finds for today. And if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button and maybe subscribe to see more. But for now, oh my goodness, let's talk about a favorite. And how do I even start? Okay, no, that's a lie. We both know, or we all know, the favorite is this absolutely massive, glorious, forbidden Cornetto. Um, I do mean the Captain Cone that is absolutely stellar, 100% fantastic and it got a lot of envy from a few passers-by. 
the second favorite and it's i mean i, I want to have more than one favorite today because i love this little wandering cowrie i think it is very very nice i love the little humphreys cowrie it looks way better than i thought it did in the early morning light absolutely love this beautiful glossy um spotted deer cowrie it is an adult but it just has like a little bit of color there makes me think that maybe it's like and it's just like not heavy it's very light i think it might just be like just into the adult stage very very nice so yes there were so many good ones today a couple of very nice sanguine cones that i can't wait to clean up and of course i almost forgot absolutely lovely teeny tiny juvenile uh, arabian cowrie i think or or something else it's a very light color but anyway, it was a fantastic day and I loved so many of the shells today, especially this frog slash bursa shell. Very nice. Anyway, thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye guys.